When Tennessee made, made a run early in the second half, you guys called the time, and you scored the next two baskets. I'm wondering how that unfolds. You know what I mean? Is there instruction, or you, everybody just knows Shay's going to try to make something? Um, I'm just a competitor, and I like to compete. And when teams go on run, I try to do everything I can, and, and I almost get mad a little bit, and it gives me a little more energy <coughs> on the court. And uh, I just I just tried to make a couple plays and, and it worked out for me. <laughs> what do you mean by you almost get mad? Mad about what? Like uh, I get a little I get not mad, but I get I get a lot of adrenaline in my body to where I don't feel feel tired or anything like that. So I'm ready to go. And you uh, you banked that three in from the top of the key early in the game. <laughs> yeah, I got uh, it. Tell me about that. Uh, I I practiced that shot. That's me. I expect I expected it to go in. There's nothing. Else. He did it you. He sees every day of practice. There's nothing. Else. I'm starting to wonder if you're a guy with a lucky charm. Yesterday you had the what you said was a lob, although I'm still skeptical. Oh no, that was. And, that was a lot for Sasha too. <laughs> and then today, this shot, how you ought to play the lottery or something. You know? Don't just work on my game. <laughs> what does it mean to you two to be a part of a program that this is the fourth straight consecutive conference tournament title? I know it's, you, you know, your first, but what does it mean to be fourth straight? Um, we just didn't want to, this the fan base uh, for Kentucky is so, so big and, and, and they, they really stayed by us the whole season and they stayed by the previous guys and we just didn't want to let them down and the people that put time into building this program and we did a good job of that. What do you, what do you think you guys can do in the next tournament? What kind of run do you think you're capable of? Um, I think we're, we're capable of beating any team in the country, uh, playing the way we are, but um, we still have a couple breakdowns defensively and, and some miscues offensively where we can always get better and, and we'll, we'll still watch film, we'll still do things we're doing when we're losing and we'll try to get better. What, what was your reaction when Sasha comes through there and hammers down that, that miss? You guys had a sequence, I think, of three straight offensive rebounds that got points and kind of, uh, I think, solidified you guys there. That one in particular. Um, that was that was probably the game-winning play for, for us. Um, it really changed the momentum. Uh, we were really we were kind of trading baskets at that point in the game. We were going up to the tie game, down to the tie game. And uh, Sash really he put us up four. And then uh, from there, we just we just all turned up and, and really dunked defensively and got stops. Is it, is it cool, we've talked a little bit about this, but is it cool to see this happening for him? When you, for some other guys who those roles have been really up and down or non-existent at times. To yeah, that um, here in St. Louis. Um, yeah, it's tough being in this program with so many talented guys. Um, you got to step back sometimes, take a seat, step up when you're not expected to, and it's kind of tough. Um, but yeah, guys are so mentally tough, and, um, and, and coming to the spotlight and, and performing the way they have is, is really tough, and I commend them for it. The crowd helped you all today. Did it, it seemed like they wheeled you all you know, a couple times when Tennessee was making runs. Yeah, um, snap, snap, though. Yeah, um, um, yeah, um uh, what was your question, sir? The crowd, just, oh, yeah, um, like the, yeah, uh, it's been a lot of games for us this year. Every time we played a neutral site, um, it's, it's the crowd is usually blue, and like I said, we have the best fans in the world. Um, and, and having a, a home court advantage being our home is it's not something a lot of that teams get to experience. It really helps tonight. What impact does that have? They have a lot of thousands of people cheering and all that. Um, it's almost like a home game, that's what it feels like at least um, the actually is great to have support uh, it gives you a little boost of energy and adrenaline in your body when you know, times are going tough.